20 million dollars. 20 mil. House on the hill. A Lamborghini in the driveway. Fly first class both ways. Both ways. See the world when I want to. When I want Shopping sprees when I want to. When I Investments want to. with interest a show do. That'll do. Five thousand dollars on the hotel stay. Hey guys, welcome back to the Ziggy Eat Show. Yes, yes, welcome back, my people. Guys, as you can see today, we are taking you on another virtual vacation. <laughs> yes, definitely virtual. <laughs> yeah, we are going to Jamaica. Come on, oh, one, my people. What? What was that? Huh? What you just said? Say guag one, my people. Guag guag. Look, you know what I said. Are you making fun of me? That's messed up. Because I thought by now you'd know how to say it the right way. I did say it the right way. No, you didn't. Okay, let's keep this no, moving no, forward. No, no, say wagwan. Wagwan. There you go. Okay. That's not what you said in the beginning. You said guagua. Like oh, baby God. talk. <laughs> My bad. Yo. Guys, today... We have a Jamaican classic. I was going to do a Jamaican national dish, which is ackee and saltfish, but decided not to. Um, I just did a Jamaican classic. We have jerk chicken yes. and festivals. I make my festivals a little different, a little smaller um, than you're probably used to seeing it. I just like them the same, but <laughs> basically the same thing. But yeah, we got jerk chicken here. Yes, yes. So That's today we are going to hit you with some fun facts yes, yes. about the phone? land of... That? What? Can you mute that phone? What's wrong with my phone? Mute it. Okay, fine. It's on mute now. Thank you. That's gonna rude. going to hit you with some fun facts about the land of my birth. Yes, yes. My home country. Our third home. Our third home? <laughs> our second home, sorry. No. What's our third first home? Yeah, third home. Okay, what's the first it, home? Well, we, we, you know, the U.S. first home we would live in. Mm -hmm. Second home is Thailand. Third home is Jamaica. Why would Thailand be our second home when, like, we both have no... Okay, so Thailand should be third home? Yeah. Okay. Um, Jamaica, second home. <laughs> well, sorry. I do kind of feel like Thailand's our second home. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're right. Okay, they're tied. <laughs> they're tied. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so we're going to hit you with some fun facts about um, Jamaica, and then we are going to tell you about some great Jamaican food yes. as well that y'all should probably try. But with yeah, that being said, let's get in oh, to yeah. the food, oh, yeah. to the jerk, 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 jerk. Oh, oh. Calm down. Oh. Calm down. Oh. Calm down. Oh. Calm down. Oh. Thank you. All right, what do you want to tackle first? Chicken. Chicken? Oh, I like this one. Looks good. I'm glad it's not burnt. Jerk chicken is always, ooh, that's spicy. Jerk chicken is always dark. <coughs> oh, yeah. Because of the herbs and spices that are on it. Lately, I don't know what's been going on with Ziggy, where his tolerance for spice has, like, disappeared. <laughs> and he usually tells me to make this spicy. <laughs> Is it too spicy for you? Okay. Mm -mm. It is good, but really hot. Now, guys. You're going to see me do something that Ziggy thinks is a big faux pas. If you hear some noise in the background, that's our uh, mama frying. Yeah, she's cooking yeah. Um, something. Uh, I always put ketchup on, this ketchup is like almost done, <laughs> on my jerk chicken. It's a Jamaican thing. All my Jamaican people, y'all know we got to put ketchup on there. He thinks it's very weird and strange. It's disgusting. No, it's not. It's a classic. I can say it's classic, but personally myself, I find it disgusting. I'm not for the jerk ketchup fan. Second, it's a, it takes away the flavor of the jerk. It enhances well, or, or, it. Even if it's not jerk, you put on anything, it takes away the flavor. Guys, he's just a ketchup oh. hater. So that's all it comes down to. 
But all my Jamaicans know that we always gotta put ketchup on our jerk chicken. It just turns it up a notch. You know what turns it up a notch? Jerk sauce. But so, we don't, we, that's something we're gonna have today. I have, I made jerk sauce. What, what is it? I left it in the kitchen. Mm. Cause I thought you were gonna get it. Hmm? I thought you were gonna get it. My mm -hmm. bad. Do you wanna pause the video and go get it? No. <laughs> Honestly, if you got the jerk sauce, you probably wouldn't be able to eat this. Cause that jerk sauce is hella hot. Like, hella, hella hot. All right guys, so, what can we say about Jamaica? Yes, I'm probably biased. <laughs> definitely biased it is the land of my birth i absolutely love it jamaica is one of the premier destinations in the caribbean each year tons and tons of tourists flock to the island um it is the third largest island in the caribbean um to enjoy the weather mm -hmm. beautiful tropical weather um those of us who awesome live on the east coast and you know it gets freezing cold in the winter time it's like the perfect quick destination to go and get some warm weather you know the sandy beach and it's just a place that's known for its laid-back um atmosphere and lots of fun activities and things like that to do so there's just so much about jamaica that is appealing and i would probably venture to say i think it's the most popular island in the caribbean yeah right because mm -hmm. you hear more about jamaica than you do hold on <laughs> your your eyebrows like grown so long since the quarantine it's like distracting me it's your fault <laughs> how's it my fault Oh, I'm supposed to clip your eyebrows? Yeah, don't worry. Take care of those pants, right? I'll take care of you. You take care of me. We take care of each other. Because one, one, we're not individuals. We're one. Okay, I'll do your eyebrows later. So, yeah. Back in 2012, well, um, the I think that's the last time they did a census. And at that time, Jamaica was recorded to have almost 3 million um, citizens there. So the population was about 3 million. Wow. So um, a small, you know, country. And kind of country, island. island, country, same difference. Islands can be countries too. Nope. You know what? We're not going to argue geography. But um, for those of you who do not know, the capital of Jamaica is, is Antigo Bay. No, it is not. Kingston. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. I'm kidding. And it also happens to be the largest city um, in Jamaica as well. Mm. Um, Jamaica was claimed by Spain mm. after Christopher Columbus landed landed there in 1494. Mm. Um, and then it became under British rule in 1655. Mm -hmm. So just giving you a little bit of history and background there on the island. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is nice and tender. Uh, another, another little fact. Another it's little a, what? Fact. Can you speak up? Okay. Enjoy the food. Thank you. Okay. Another little fact is that Jamaica has the fastest runners in the globe. In the globe? In the globe. Yeah. Okay. Um, the USA and China are the only two countries with more Olympic medals than, chi than <laughs> China. Yeah, than Jamaica. <laughs> the USA and the UK have also... Natural, naturalized Jamaican sprinters like Sonia Richards and Linford Christie. Yeah, Linford Christie, man, I haven't heard that name in a, in a while. But as we all know by now, and if you don't know, where are you? Have you been? The fastest, fastest.
fastest, fastest Jamaican runner is Mr. Usain Bolt. Well, yes. And he's not just the fastest Jamaican runner; he's just the fastest runner. Period. Pull. Okay, back to what I was saying. Then we also have Asafa Powell and Johan Blake. Mm-hmm. And in the women's, we have I know it's um. Um, is it Sherry and Price? Sherry and Price? Something? Shelly and Price. Shelly, Shelly, sorry. Shelly and Price. Mm -hmm. And it says somebody else too, another woman famous. She's really good. Um, I don't remember. Okay, but yeah, good. that's just the name of you. Yeah. A, lot of good, a lot of men, a lot of women. Yeah. They're very fast. Mm -hmm. They're very good. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, can you ask this question? Mm -hmm. Can you? Why are Jamaicans so fast? I have no idea. I will tell you. They come from a genetic pool of Africans, they are naturally athletic. Hmm. That is... I guess I didn't get none of that why? genetic pool. <laughs> no, but I do. That's right. You're not even Jamaican. Huh? You're not even Jamaican. I married a Jamaican beautiful woman. Okay, you're Jamaican by proxy? Yes, yes. Yes, my people. Guys. He's a weird one. You're really coming for me today, huh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't. I should not be coming for you and your eyebrows. <laughs> Jama another little fun fact. Jamaica actually produces the most music per capita. Jamaica is the undisputed... Google it. I don't feel like going to explanation now. Jamaica is the undisputed authority on reggae music. It is the home of reggae music. That's where it's from. But that is not the only <coughs> music. Okay? Keep going. Oh. That is not the only form of music that is indigenous to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. When people hear, you know, like what kind of music do Jamaicans listen to? Or what kind of music comes from Jamaica? The first thing everyone says is reggae. Mm -hmm. But guys, it's not the only one that comes from Jamaica. Nope. There are other forms of music, nope. um, such as ska. Um, ska music, most, I think, for the younger generation, was really put on the map, believe it or not, by Gwen Stefani, no, of no doubt, fame. The older generation knows it, but like younger kids, mm -hmm. the, their first time ever hearing ska. I have no idea what that is, no. I'll introduce it to it <laughs> is you know from Gwen Stefani because she loves it and she talks about it a lot and I know Roots mu mu oh yeah Roots, roots. Mm -hmm. I know dance hall uh huh hit them with it hit yeah. it come on give me another one that's it <laughs> that's the three I know reggae dance hall and Roots Roots is the, the same thing that's also known um, more commonly known as rock steady mm. oh man. Um, Barry's Hammond is a great, you know, rock set. He he just sings that nice, grooving, you know, kind of music that you can dance to. They have Mento. Mm. They have um, Naya Bingi. Mm. What? <laughs> you never heard of those? Naya Bingi, um, it's like the Rastafarian type of music and um, stuff like that. They have folk music. Um, Jamaica also does a lot of soca. You know, mm -hmm. like the Calypso Carnival, mm -hmm. you know, um, type music. So they're into a lot of stuff. Um, there's also one called Rubba Dub. I don't really know much about this, guys. <laughs> it's not my genre. Rubba Dub Ducky? <laughs> it's not my preferred genre. Um, although I'm Jamaican, I really don't listen to a lot of reggae music or dancehall music or ska or any of that. I'm like, you know where my music taste is stuck okay, at. Yeah, Jamaica. Do you just say I'm not a real Jamaican? <laughs> I am not Jamaican, okay? Uh, yeah, for some reason my musical taste is stuck in the, the 70s. <laughs> no, the 70s, the 80s. And Mercedes. 91, 92, um, R&B, so, why am I still gnawing on that bone? Would you like bone? Mm -mm. 
just got a piece of Okay, another, another nice little fact is that Jamaica has the most churches per square mile. Yeah, we are a very religious set. Pretty, pretty big. According to National Library of Jamaica, there are approximately 2.75 churches per square mile. A fact recognized by the Guinness World Book of Records, there are also churches in people's backyards and living rooms that haven't been taken into consideration. Now, one thing that, that one little fact I don't see here in my notes is what religion. What are, what are the different religions they have? What is the main religion? Do you know? Christianity. I say so called Jamaican. <laughs> so called Jamaican. That was so disrespectful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were coming at me <laughs> the whole video. You just called me a so called Jamaican. Mm -hmm. The main. Um, Practice in Jamaica is Christianity. The different forms of Christians, um, different denominations, Methodist, Baptist, Pentecostal. There are a lot of Catholics there, Anglican. Do you know yeah. what percentage or what's number one? No, I do not know the percentages. Some say, what kind of Jamaican are you? But I do know that Jamaicans are, for the most part, all Christians. Yeah. You're, not, you're gonna find, and then of course you have the Rastafarians, of course, but um, you're not the the, the Muslims and mm -hmm. so on, few and far between. You may have a random one here or there, <laughs> you know, a Buddhist or something, but for the most part, all Christians. Mm -hmm. And just piggybacking off that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny yeah. that Jamaica has the most churches of any country in the world mm -hmm. per square mile. With that fact, ironically, mm -hmm. Jamaica also has the most rum bars per square mile. You know why? Why? Come on, Friday, Saturday, you party, you Sunday, you go to church, you know, you say I'm sorry. <laughs> For what you did the night before. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You work hard Monday through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you party. You just Sunday, blame it on the morning, a, 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 a alcohol. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sunday when you go to, you wake up, you go to church. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You it was know? alcohol. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't me. <laughs> this fact about, you know, Jamaica having the most rum bars is actually one that's very hard to measure because most rum bars may not even be registered with the government mm -hmm. to be honest with you um however it is said that where there is a church there are two bars down the road mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so i mean if, if it's on record that we've got the most churches per capita yeah. um per square mile so if there are two bars for every one church, mm -hmm. then do the math, people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jamaica was the first island to produce rum commercially mm -hmm. for export in the days before piracy. Um, the rum is widely used in the kitchen. You know, the famous Jamaican rum cake. Okay, but what is the Jamaican rum? You know, you haven't mentioned it. Babe, they're different brands. But what is the number one, the one that everybody knows of? Tell the people. J. Ray and Neville or Appleton? Ray and Nephew, my people. Ray and Nephew. <laughs> That's who it is. <laughs> Ray and Nephew and Appleton. It? Because I'm not advertising brands. But everybody knows Jamaican Ray and Nephew Rome. and Appleton. Yes, those are the two most uh, famous brands. There are other brands, but those are the, the two most popular and famous ones. Not only do we use it in our famous rum cakes, but it's used in rum punch. Jamaicans love a good rum punch. Mm -hmm. And of course, it also has first aid purposes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you, Eating powers. Yes. If you're outside in the rain, you come home, you gotta make sure you wash yourself down in some white rum wine, you know, to make sure you don't get sick. Guys, these are old wives' tales. I don't know how true they are. Like, every little thing they say, oh, you gotta like splash some white rum on your face or mm -hmm. something like that. It, it's a cure-all. It works. It works. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, it works. I don't know. I guess it's that saying, you know, belief kills and belief cures, so. If you believe it, it will probably fix. You know, it's kind of like how 
the Spanish people think that Vicks is the cure all for everything. <laughs> yes. Hello to all my Puerto Ricans and my Dominicanos. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You got a headache, they tell you put some Vicks on it. <laughs> okay. I'm not lying. Oh god. Let's get into some of this chicken. Okay, enjoy the chicken. All right, another little thing. Um, James, the James Bond series was written series? was written in <laughs> Jamaica <laughs> while working for Britain's Naval Intelligence Division. Ian Fleming was in charge of a covert operation called Code I can't Code I'm not sure how you say that word. Um, giving him <laughs> real life inspiration for his world famous Bond series. Fleming later bought a 15 acre piece of land which used to be a donkey race course in Jamaica and named it Golden Eye. Yeah, that. <laughs> he got the name James Bond from an American ornithologist of the same name who frequented Jamaica and was an expert of on Caribbean birds. Mm. It's a lot of info. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, Golden Eye is one of those places. You can actually go and book a night stay there. Two, three nights if you want to. Um, it was a beautiful place. I think the first um, James Bond that he wrote, it, wrote in Jamaica was um, Casino Royale. Mm -hmm. I think that was the first one. So... Yeah, James Bond, well, not James Bond, Ian Fleming, <laughs> went there and just absolutely fell in love. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, I'm going to hit you one more fun fact. Jamaica, and a lot of people were surprised by this, was once a Spanish-speaking country. Did you know that? No. Yes. Oh. Se habla español. Mi gente. <laughs> Back in 1509, from 1509 to um, 1655, mm -hmm. Jamaica was under Spanish rule. The capital of Jamaica was Villa de la Vega, mm -hmm. um, which was called Spanish Town. Mm -hmm. The last time we went to Jamaica, we went to Spanish Town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it was called Spanish Town by the English, by the English people. Um, it is still called by that name today as uh, I just mentioned. Um, and though there are many other towns that have their Spanish names, mm -hmm. such um, as Ocho Rios, you know, Rio Grande, like yes. so many other places. So it's kind of like, you know, still holding on to a little bit of the original, excuse me, Spanish roots. The buildings mm -hmm. that were constructed um, during this time are still standing. Mm -hmm. and serve as tourist attractions. Um, Jamaica was used by the Spanish as a launching point to send ships to destinations such as Mexico and Peru. So a little interesting fact there. Um, the English were able to take Jamaica. This is how we're now known as an English-speaking country. Mm -hmm. The English were able to take Jamaica from Spain because, you know, um, we were under Spain, mm -hmm. uh, because most of the Spanish soldiers were in other colonies and did not have a strong concentration in Jamaica. So, um, you know, they, they were in other places that speak Spanish now, mm -hmm. and they didn't have a lot of, you know, men on the ground there in Jamaica. So when the English came, they were able to, like, take over. And that is how it is now an English speaking country, and I do not speak Spanish fluently. Sadly, but what is Jamaica's um, main language? English. No, it's not. You know what I'm referring to. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're yes, referring you to. Jamaica's main speaking language. It is English. No, it's not. You what see? is it? What I is know it? what you do. What is it? Patois. Thank you. Okay, first of all. Thank you. First Thank of you. all. Thank you. First of all. Thank you. And you were born there? Thank you. Thank you, people. First of all, our official language is English. Patois is English. Patois is a dialect. It's like a version. It, it is English, but it's broken English. It's basically like how the Americans speak Ebonics. That's, you, you can't tell me that, you know, 
they don't speak English. I have a hard time understanding Ebonics or, or some of them slangs, but it's supposed to be English. Patwa, shut up. <laughs> Patwa is English. Okay. One day, guys, we're going to do a Patwa lesson. Learn to speak Jamaican. If you want to call it its own language, go ahead mm. and call it that. Yes. In your mind, you think it's its own language. No, it is. But it's basically broken English. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, let us know if you want to do a how to speak Jamaican video or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> now, guys, because this is a mukbang video, we are going to let you guys know some of the great Jamaican foods that y'all need to try. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows the classic jerk chicken, mm -hmm. which you've got on board. Some of these that you might not be familiar with, I will, if I remember, drop a picture <laughs> so you can see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. One of the most popular dishes that's at every single event. You cannot go to a birthday party, a wedding, mm. without having curry goat on the menu. Oh. If curry goat ain't there, then your party is whack. Yes. <laughs> and that's just a fact. <laughs> yeah. Well. Curry goat. Jerk right. chicken. Okay. Jerk pork. Mm-hmm. Uh, beef patties. I mean, before. Oh, me, he's just naming all his favorites. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no, Go ahead. no, no. It's not just my favorites. It's just what I know. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, know. continue. Okay. Um, he's, oxtail. Yeah. Mm. 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 Rundown. Oh, y'all don't know nothing oh, about oh, that oh, rundown. Oh, oh, they don't, oh, hold on. Oh, oh. You gotta give me a minute because I don't have to drop the picture so they can see. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going y'all don't fast. know nothing about rundown. Okay, we'll tell you about rundown one day, but continue. Ooh. Okay. Um, what's the soup they like? Oh, managed water. <laughs> the water, the water that makes you feel managed. <laughs> I'm kidding. What is you really coming from today? Because <laughs> I love you, boo. So rude. <laughs> yes, managed water mm -hmm. is a soup broth yeah, that's this, made this of um, um, gold parts. It's made from the. The head, the teeth, the, the innards of the goat, mm. the feet, the, you know, the parts of the goat that no one wants to see or eat that we usually throw away. Mm -hmm. um, those are the parts. It has a very strong gamey flavor, but it's an acquired taste for most. Mm. But once you acquire the taste, it's actually delicious. Uh, yeah, so that's managed water. Mm. Chicken feet, curry chicken feet. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a making thing, but I mean, I don't know you guys. Mm -hmm. Jamaica, go ahead, you can chip in. <laughs> I'm just letting you, you, you're doing good. You're on a roll with all the Jamaican foods mm -hmm. that I introduced you to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that you um, absolutely love. I can eat saltfish. Mm -hmm. The national dish of Jamaica. Macro. Mm hmm. Um, and Tell when, when he speaks of mackerel, he's talking about like the canned mackerel that's in tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So guys, <laughs> he pretty much done laid out some of the, <laughs> the most famous Jamaican dishes, um, you know, that is out there that everyone knows on love. The, the few like, you know, there's rice and peas mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, just a lot. There's roast festival, yeah, festival dumpling, fried dumplings. Boiled dumpling. Ooh, yeah, what's your favorite breakfast meal that you're constantly asking me to make? Macro? No. What? Your favorite breakfast meal? Like in the past two oh. weeks? You've, oh, oh. You've asked me only like 17 times in the past week. Um, <laughs> what's the name of it? Porridge. Yes. Yes. <laughs> My favorite breakfast. <laughs> Oh, Cornmeal porridge. Yeah, to be it can be. Specific. You can have any time of day, but on breakfast, it gives you that punch, <laughs> and it fills you. Yeah. He absolutely loves cornmeal porridge. Like he would have it every day if he yes. could. But guys, that has been our virtual vacation to Jamaica. I hope you learned some fun, interesting facts that you weren't aware of before. Yes. Um, I hope the pictures that I've dropped of the food, if I remember, I hope I remember, you know, will keep your mouth watering. So yes. once the country's all opened up and we all can fly and go places again, yes. you head to Jamaica. It's only like a four hour flight from mm -hmm. 
um, you know, like New York, yeah. get on the plane, Boston. sit down, close your eyes, open your eyes, and you're there. You're there. If you're in Miami, if you're in Florida, it's less than an hour away. Yes. Jump on a plane and go to Jamaica, guys. Yes. Enjoy some of this food. Right now, there's a Jamaican food series. I don't know if you guys know Mark yeah, Queens. Mark Queens, he's a food blogger. His channel is called Migra Mi Migrationology. Migrationology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And how about the other one? Um, hold on. You can go check him out. <coughs> he visited Jamaica earlier this year in mm -hmm. January. And he stayed there for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. This is before the coronavirus hit. And he was able to explore the entire island. And he does some beautiful videos. His videography and editing skills are on point. Yes. He takes you into the countryside. And he shows you the real Jamaica. Um, his videos are very food focused. So you're gonna see all the delicious foods, even stuff that I didn't even mention here. So be sure to check out Mark Queens. Migrationology is a channel. Yes. Um, you can also check out Ross Kitchen. Ross Kitchen, yes, we'll put the link below. Yeah. We're, and what? another one that we love to watch. What? Your girl. Oh, <laughs> if you that guys wanna depths. learn how to make Jamaican food, yes. um, check out the Jamaican cooking journey. Um, the channel is originally known as West Indian Delights, so you can type that in yeah. and you'll see it come up. Her name is Debbie Debs, right? Right. Her name is Debbie Debs. Debbie from Dunga Yard. Yeah. And she does authentic. Mm -hmm. When I say authentic, I mean really authentic Jamaican dishes. Mm -hmm. um, she does not cut corners. No. She show Whatever she tells you to do, do it. It's guaranteed. It's going to be good. It's going to be delicious. Um, yeah, she's probably one of the best YouTube chefs, Another, cooks of um, Jamaican food that I've seen. And yeah, go check her out. <laughs> Another, um, Jamaican channel. I mean, that's they, they don't like you. What? Many twins. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> okay. They're, they, they, they do mukbangs yeah, the and stuff, twins. but, um, yeah, check them out. They're, they're fun mm -hmm. and great yeah. as well. So guys, um, again. Thank you for joining us Thank on this so one. Hope you really enjoyed it. Yes. Until next time. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, comment, share with everyone. And anyone. <coughs> that <Sorry>. was disgusting. <laughs> we love you guys so much. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. <laughs> 20 million dollars. 20 mil. House on the hill. A Lamborghini in the driveway Fly first class both ways both.